Welcome back, friends, to another Catechism Instruction video. Today, we continue to talk about what is Christianity, and what is a Christian? What does it mean to be Christian? Well, one word to describe Christians that's sometimes used is that Christians are paradoxical. And that's a big word, but it means that we have two conflicting ideas or two conflicting things at work at the same time in one place. So, for example, we believe that Jesus is both God and man at the same time. Seems like it's contradictory, but it's what we call a paradox. One paradox that we're going to talk about today of being a Christian is that we are both sinners and saints. We're not only sinners and we're not only saints, but we're both at the same time. And what does that mean? We know we're sinners. We're created in sin and we've been born in sin and we have original sin. We'll talk about that later in your Catechism Instruction. We know we're saints. We know we've been forgiven. We know that Christ has died for us and washed away our sin, um, that we don't have to live under that burden of sin because of his sacrifice. So the question becomes, why do we keep making mistakes? How come we're not just perfect now we've been forgiven? It's all these things. How do they mix together? And let's read from Romans uh, chapter 6 to see a little bit of an explanation for that. Paul says, We know that our old self was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing, so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. For one who has died has been set free from sin. That we live in a world that is sinfully broken, but we have been forgiven by Christ. This is the paradox of being a sinner and a saint. So to help explain that, I have some science here. We've got some plain old water from the tap, so we'll go ahead and pour that into our flask. And this could represent our, our life, that God gives us life and that he expects us and hopes and created us to be perfect. But there's these things that come into our life, like this oil here, that, um, like sin, try to mix into our life and get kind of muddy and, right, and unclear. You can see here now we've got oil and water mixed together. Now, if I were to pour these out, I would not be able to separate them. I couldn't get the oil apart from the water or, or divide them, but they are separate. You can see they're distinct. There's two different parts to this flask now, oil and water, oil on top, water underneath. That is an image for what our life is like, that we are saints, forgiven and redeemed by God, and yet we still live in sin, that we still make mistakes, and we're still going to mess up, but God loves us and forgives us. We can't separate those two things from our earthly existence on this side of eternity, but we do have both those things kind of in tension and conflict. It's good to remember, though, God loves us. His forgiveness is lasting. Just because we sin doesn't mean the forgiveness is uh, limited or that it won't cover our sin in the future. Christ's love for us goes beyond any sin we can commit and is greater than anything we could do. Let's pray and thank God for that grace. Father, thank you for making us saints. Even though we are sinners, you have brought us into your family through Christ's sacrifice, making us clean by the washing of our sin with his blood. We thank you for this, and we pray that you would help us to remember that when we feel like sinners, that we are saints. It's in your son's name that we pray today. Amen. Have a wonderful day.